Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Fishing Girls. Today we're on the beautiful shores of Kanyoi Bay. We're gonna make some alihi, nigiri, sashimi, and maki. Hope you all enjoy, stay tuned. for this episode of Fishing Girls! Yeah! Welcome back everybody, thanks for tuning in. Here we have is our LAEs. We're gonna clean it up, fillet it up, and dish it up for you. Stay tuned. As if it's all cleaned up, time to play. Alright, now that everything's all filleted, let's prep it all up. Stay tuned for this kill sauce. Hey, how's it going guys? Thanks for joining us on Fish and Grills. Today's targeted fish is the Alaihi. In other parts of the world, they're known as a saber squirrel fish, a spiny squirrel fish, or a giant squirrel fish. This fish can be found in parts of Indonesia, the Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Japan, Australia, and all over Polynesia. The fish's body is bright red in color with neon yellow tips on the fins. It's a pretty beautiful fish, I must say. Alaihis are nocturnal fish and can be found in reef caves during the day and roaming the reefs at night. They tend to eat shrimp, crabs, worms, and smaller fish, and are able to grow up to about 20 inches in length. For us over here in Hawaii, the state record came in just over 8 pounds back in 94 on the Big Island. Eight pounds, man, that's pretty huge. The Alaihi is known for its elongated jaw with a sharp spike protruding out from the scales. And as you can see here, it has spikes on its dorsal fins, which make it a little dangerous handling, so be careful. Imagine getting stabbed by one of those. This 
fish is a very delicious fish with nice firm white meat which is typically best prepared fried crispy steamed or in this case raw made into delicious sashimi nigiri and maki sushis Thanks for tuning in everybody. Now that everything's all flayed up, we're gonna save these bones later. Fry it up crispy because here at Fish and Gross, we don't waste anything. We're gonna skin it, slice it up, get ready for a dish. Take notes. If you're at the beach guys and you see a weight lying around, pick it up. Saves our beaches and might be able to do this later. Oh, here we are we have our rice we're gonna put some powder sushi flavored we're gonna add some furikake inside we're gonna use that for our coffee. holy <laughs> crap <laughs> <laughs> did, did it even get in there <laughs> so, so oh. <laughs> no, that's funny. We're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna put cucumbers, avocados, and some ginger with our fish. So the dishes we'll be making from these fish are shishimi, nigiri, and maki. Shishimi is typically sliced raw fish served with rice, but sometimes other meats are used for shishimi. Nigiri are thin slices of raw fish served on top rice. Maki style is a traditional sushi roll consisting of fish, veggies, and rice, all rolled up in seaweed. See, that guy's cleaning up the beach. Good job, guy. We're gonna cover it with some ran wrap and we're gonna use that to roll our maki. is probably what you think of when you think of sushi. It's fish, vegetables, and sushi rice layered on top one another, then rolled up into a sheet of seaweed. So chances are, if you're eating a traditional sushi roll, you're eating maki. There's also plenty of variations of this style. Side sushi. All right, now time for a nigiri construction. Nigiri sushi isn't rolled like maki. Instead, it's a thin slice of raw or cooked fish and is layered on top of vinegar rice. 
Typically, a small amount of wasabi is placed between the fish and the rice. In Japanese, nigiri translates to two fingers, which refers to the size of the rice portion. And this is our final product. Right in front of here, we have an ala maki. Okay, with avocado, cucumbers, ginger, and our mayo wasabi sauce. Here we have is our alaihi nigiri ball rice with our mayo wasabi sauce with a piece of sashimi on top. And in the middle, alaihi sashimi. Sashimi style technically isn't sushi. Sushi is not sushi unless it has vinegar rice. Sashimi refers to a simple preparation of sliced fish and is served just by itself without any rice or any other ingredients. And sushi chefs take great care of selecting the best fish for sashimi and they can even bring out different flavors in the fish depending on how they slice or which garnishes they use to pair with it. The attention to quality and detail is why the best fish is often referred to as sashimi grade. It typically indicates that the fish you're about to eat is of such high quality that it can be eaten raw and enjoyed on its own. Whoa, bada bear approves. Thanks for joining us today. Good times, good brands, the good people, and always stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills! Woohoo! It's blowing the drone, that's why. Okay, wait. There you go. Thanks for joining us today. Good times, good grinds, the good people, and always stay tuned. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Go, go, go. <laughs>